Hi, my name is Matt and this is Not Enough Tech from Teesside Hackspace again, so welcome. Previously we've been working on this lovely box, it's not glued in so it requires a tender little care huh, when handling and hopefully won't fall apart in my hands just yet, but I'm in the process of gluing stuff. And uh, today we're going to do a few things. Uh, one of the things is going to be taking uh, care of the logo and vents on the front, so I'm going to make studs and uh, well, front logo to cover the ventilation holes. That's uh, so another thing to, we're going to do, it's mount this Raspberry Pi that's going to be hard of the design inside, so I'm going to make some studs and uh, align the holes, uh, etc. and drill it. So that's the second thing that we're going to do. And maybe third thing, if I've still got some time, we're going to try to mount the hub inside so it wouldn't rattle around. So that's the plan for today. So let's get started with gluing up some studs into uh, the design of the Raspberry Pi logo and uh, aligning this properly and then we're gonna move into the rest. So uh, I'll show you how to do it. So as you can see the job's done and now I have to just gently flip it, align it nicely and cover up the holes in here. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I'll use some tape to kind of make it stick together when I'm aligning it and uh, then flip it over and kind of mark the endpoints and you know organize it neatly and hopefully this won't be visible. All I have to do more is just a, a leaves at the end and that's it. So uh, let's get started with this one. So everything has been glued together and this is how it looks like. It's actually quite presentable. As you can see, there are four vent holes in here and they're completely covered. And from the side, it's actually not that bad from different angles. This one is very small piece, so probably in the hind side. In the hind side, I should have made the piece slightly bigger. However, it's not that bad and you barely can tell there is a hole. Anyhow, that's the front plate. So to house the Raspberry Pi inside and keep it in place. Uh, I had to few, do a few things. I've got two self tightening nuts in here, which has been drilled into a back plate. There are uh, places for four of them. I'll see if the two are holding up okay, then I'll just leave it in two. Otherwise, I'm gonna use uh, four of them. And uh, they fit perfectly with the um, screw, well, the drill I used, so that's fine. I just need to cut them to size so they wouldn't be sticking out like this. And another thing I uh, probably had to pay attention is that I had to bend slightly the USB because uh, uh, during the cutout, this part fell down slightly at the angle and the cutout wasn't perfect. So I had to <coughs> bend the enclosure a tiny little bit, but still everything is usable. I've checked both uh, sockets, so you can plug in everything there. Uh, they're inside without any problems. You can have your Ethernet uh, cable and your USB if you want to. Uh, now, uh, in terms of a hub, um, I was thinking what to do, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to end up with a 3M uh, tape and just going to glue it to the side and glue it to the bottom so it would uh, stick there without any, you know, any problems. And it's going to be just like that on this side and the power um, socket is on this side so the cable is going to go directly in there and everything's gonna power the Raspberry and all the uh, hard drives. So I'm just gonna put some tape. I don't have a tape with me, I have tape at home 
and they're just going to finish that off. So uh, that's it. And then uh, I need to, the lastly, I have to do a small hole because uh, I'll have to either cut the raspberry uh, jack 3.5 millimeter jack short uh, or I uh, don't know if I'm going to regret it or not because it's slightly visible on here. Um, I needed to drill in into the enclosure to kind of accommodate for sticking out headphones. I didn't want to just uh, you know cut into the raspberry so I figured out they're going to do it that way. Um, the edges are white right now however what I'm going to do I could just going to flame treat it and that should take an edge out of it. So yeah that's the, that's the top. So everything is ready for assemble and uh, let me just put the final assemble so I could uh, show you. Everything snaps on just exactly as it did before. So this is a base plate and that's the back side so it just goes in here. And uh, then we have a top, top one and it goes like this. And I believe I'm going to leave the top plate not actually glued in. The top and the back plate, I sh well actually most of them I could keep apart from the external ones. Uh, I should leave it angled in so I could actually access it. Uh, with the drives, uh, I have a um, solvent plastic glue and I'm really considering just to glue them uh, like so in here and they should be just fine to actually play with it. Hmm. I've just actually discovered a problem with my design. Oh, okay. So where's the problem? Um, no, there is no problem. <laughs> Sorry, that was me thinking for a second that the drives just go this way. And I was thinking, where the cable goes? Uh, I forgot the, the, the drives go like that and the cable goes at the back, so everything's fine. I got scared for a second there. Well, I'll leave that in without editing then, because the cables go in front and at all the user interface, all the access to everything is at the back as I want it. So, and the cables won't be visible because it's going to be behind the front plate. So let me just stick that real quick. Those outer, outer stuff is going to be probably glued in. And the beautiful front that goes in the front. So that goes in. And there you have it. Nicely looking box. Hopefully it won't fall apart when I'm showing it to the camera. And you can look at it from all sides and glory. I love it. What do you think? I hope it's great. So uh, I'm going to mount the rest of it, connect stuff and uh, glue that all together. I might run a quick video when I'm just gluing parts together and we'll be able to, to run this thing and test it and see how it performs. So uh, I guess see you in part, uh, that's going to be part six. Jeez, I was expecting this to be over in like four parts, but so fortunately or unfortunately, it's not going to be over yet. So I'm going to see you in the next bit. So until then, bye. This is what happens when you want to have a B-roll, but you don't have a proper B-roll equipment. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Maker's gonna make, hacker's gonna hack, right? <laughs>